School Freeware's Word 2007 Tutorials Tutorial 17 Making a Certificate with a Template To enter the template, click on the Office button, go to New, and here you'll find lots of different templates that you can choose from. It's all categorized for you, including things like schedules, planners, letters, labels, memos, faxes, envelopes, and so on. This tutorial is centered around certificates, so I'll click on certificates. And you have to have an internet connection to download the templates from Microsoft's website. Here we have several different types of certificates, things like diplomas or best costume award for Halloween parties. To the top right, you'll see who has created the template, the download size, and the user rating. You can sort based upon user rating or by name. I'll scroll down and find the template that I want to use. In this case, it is the high school diploma. So I'll just double click. All right, the certificate was downloaded. And here I see that we're in compatibility mode up there at the top. And if I were to click on one of these pictures here and go to format, I'll find that I can't recolor the border. I don't care for the shade of green. So what I'm going to do to fix this, there's a little trick. Just click on the office button. Go ahead and save. And I'll save as a Word document, which will be 2007 format. I'll just call it cert for this tutorial here. Click on OK. And now, when I click on the picture here, this border, which is actually a picture, I can go to Format, Recolor, and select the color that I want. I'll select light blue, and now I'll start working on the certificate. It says here, your high school. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to change your high school to, let's just say, ML. King Elementary. Okay, we have this certifies that name your student. And you can change the font if you wish. I don't need anything about graduating, so we'll just have an award for say has increased his or her reading level one grade. Very good. I'll change the diploma to certified. And modify here this fifth day of September two thousand and nine. Don't need a seal. And if we want the superintendent principal to sign, maybe not the superintendent for this particular certificate. So try maybe principal. And I'll change to teacher. So we have the principal and the teacher signed. Now we can always go and modify this a little bit further. Maybe add a watermark of the school, a seal, to make the certificate look a little bit less plain than it is right now. I could do that real quickly. And one thing to note, when you insert pictures or objects into Word documents, take a look at what's highlighting. If I were to insert something, what I might end up doing is deleting this text box here that's already highlighted or inserting something into the text box I don't care to do. So what I'll do here, so I'll click on this blank area over here so nothing is highlighted. And actually you may see the cursor blinking a little bit here, which will be all right. So I can go ahead now and insert. And I'll go right to clip art and I'll insert a trophy. Just like we've done in the other tutorials. And I'll go ahead just the size of the trophy 
I see it's centered, so that's a little bit too big. And I'll go to text wrapping and set the text wrapping to behind text. And now I can move the trophy down a little bit. And finally, I'll go ahead and change the brightness and possibly a little bit of the contrast. So now the trophy looks pretty nice and the certificate looks really good.